In recent years, thousands of people have risked their lives to make it here to Britain, crowding onto small, cramped boats, being pushed out to sea and trying to make it across the Channel, landing on the beaches here in the southeast of England. Now, it's a perilously dangerous journey. And so, several years ago, LBC launched our biggest ever investigation into the network of criminal gangs that are exploiting these desperate people, the people smugglers who are charging thousands of pounds at a time to put men, women and children onto these boats from northern France. Our undercover reporter tracked one of the gang leaders, a man called Farouk, down to his camp in the Dunkirk woodland. He was asking about a relative trying to get him over to Britain. How many people? Do you have one. one. We do one, then more will maybe come, but one. Okay. And I take it for you. Huh? Say what uh, which currency? Dollar? Pound. Euro? Pound. And he will go by boat? By boat. Okay. He go by from Dunkirk or he, Calais? He come here. Huh? Kurdish people take it him. Kurdish? Yeah. When everything is ready, boat ready, these people going? and put in the boat ah. and up to two hours in UK. How many people you sending already, you think? How many people you sending? Every time 30, 40, 30, 40, 50. Yeah. So police is no problem. French police, police, no, police problem. no problem. Okay. 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 French just give the way. They're helping. So, just go. Okay. Yeah. yeah. This is business to the France. The fee was £7,000 and he was given three days to provide the money. So next, our undercover reporter visited one of the gang's money agents who was based in Birmingham. Uh, Farouk. Farouk. Uh, Wakar. Wakar. He is arranging for one of my relatives to come over from, by the from small here, boat yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. from Dunkirk. Yeah. 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 Okay. So he say, leave the money yeah. with, uh, with me. With you. And when he come here, so I will give money to him. And if you don't want, so uh, then I will give you back, uh, That's, you back here. Don't keep cash. No, no, no. <laughs> because, you know, going to banks uh, is too dangerous. Yeah, 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 yeah. So uh, if you want back money, then yeah. you have to give, uh, tell me two days before. OK, yeah? okay no. great. Thanks. No. Once LBC had gathered all of this evidence, we passed it over to the authorities who quickly organised a raid on this store in Birmingham. We have intelligence. Uh, from the uh, LBC undercover operation that has identified <laughs> as being the recipient of £7,000 that was due to pay for um, a migrant to be smuggled from northern France into the UK via the south coast on a small boat. We're two minutes round for the corner shop. We've got an officer in the vicinity of the shop now. He's confirmed the target is in the premises. So now we'll go in to cover the rear entrances, front entrances, and then go in and affect and control the scene. Hello, sir. Hello. We're from the Home Office Immigration yeah. Enforcement yeah, Criminal no Investigations. You are under arrest now. No, okay, no, yeah, no. on suspicion of facilitating non-EU nationals into the UK. Okay. I just want to search you, yeah, just no, to make sure there's nothing on you that's going to no, hurt any of us. So these officers now have to search the shop. Yeah, okay, yeah. no problem. We're going to seize all your telephones. Okay. Yeah, all your electronic equipment, no problem, all that kind of stuff. Yeah, no. and then we're going to have a look in your house. No okay. No problem. The current trend of uh, trafficking people by small boats is our number one priority in immigration enforcement. It's fair to say these organised crime groups are ruthless. When you look at the conditions that they're putting those people into, the environment is totally unsafe and a significant threat to life. Then our reporter Paul arranged one final meeting with Farouk over in Dunkirk. It took place in a pizza restaurant in a shopping mall, but this time I'd travelled out to northern France, ready to confront him. Farouk, I'm from LBC Radio. Now we know you are a people smuggler. Talk what? to me about why you're doing this. Why are you putting people's lives at risk? You are a people smuggler. Me? You, Farouk, yes. We have you on video admitting that you are a people smuggler. You are charging people thousands of pounds to put them in those boats to send them over to the UK. Why are you doing this? I don't know. I'm no smuggler. We have you on video no. admitting it. Seven thousand pounds? No. You're walking away now. You're walking out of the pizza place. Tell me why. No problem. Going through. No, you're running now. You're running through the supermarket. Right, we're chasing after you, Farouk. We're chasing after him. Security's just stopped him. He's just pushed a man over. And he's out the back of the entrance of the supermarket. He's just been pinned to the floor. They've got him down on the ground. Three security guards have just hauled Farouk up. 
Corporal. Security now marching him away. After the confrontation, Farouk fled the country, but at the start of this year, he came back and was quickly arrested. And in March, he was convicted and jailed for seven years for people trafficking. He's also been fined 50,000 euros and unusually has been banned from ever returning to France. The French authorities have said that LBC's evidence in our investigation was instrumental in securing the conviction.